What's going on everybody? It's your guy Golden Cash and we are back with another Hunt and Fill series. We got the Jefferson Nickel 1938 to 1964 album and the only one we need is still the 1938 out of San Francisco. Hopefully we can get something out of these two boxes. Hopefully the circulator they got that darker blue color box now so I don't know if we're going to get circulated nickels or they're going to be uncirculated 2023s. We will just have to see in just a second. Our last hunt, we uh, we came up with a few nice finds, a couple of nice buffaloes, and a 1912 Denver uh, V-Nickel, which is a very, very hard find. And we got one to show. All right, so we need the 1938S. We got boxes 67 and 68 of the nickel hunt and fill series let's go ahead and get right into these boxes and see if they are or see if they are circulated and not uncirculated but first don't forget to like share subscribe and hit that notification bell so i keep bringing you hunts just like this one right here let's go ahead and cut these boxes open and see if we have uncirc or circulated boxes and not uncirculated i keep saying it uh, lately, we've been getting a lot of uh, uncirculated. So here we go. We're going to pop the top of this one. We're going to rip. And it looks like the darker blue could be uncirculated nickels. Go ahead and pop this one. And we will start with box two. We got circulated nickels. All right, good deal. That one almost looks like a, man, hold on one second. Turn the light on for this one. Uh, I thought that was a war nickel, but it's not. All right, so we have circulated nickels in box number two. Let's go ahead and jump over to box number one, number 67. Let's see if we have circulated nickels in this one as well. And we have circulated nickels. Good deal. Looks about half and half. All right, let's go ahead and get into box number one, number 67 of the series. And I'll bring you back if and when we find anything like V nickels, Buffalo nickels, wartime nickels, or any errors varieties and the 1938S. Let's go. Roll number one, box number one, number 67 of the series. We're gonna have our first find it's right here in the front. We got a 1957. This is going to be our first nickel out of Denver. All right, that is our first find, first roll. Let's keep going. Roll one. Halfway through this, we got another. Well, we got a 1952. It's our first one. Philadelphia. Roll two. Almost to the end. We're going to have a first 1959. And it's a Denver. Let's go. Roll number five. Box number one. We got a 1953 right here. And I couple up. We got a 1958. Our 53 is a Denver. And the 58 is probably going to be a Denver as well. Unless it's a semi-key date. And it's a Denver. Set that one right there. Let's Roll go. Roll number six. Box number one. Rolling these out, and we're going to have where to go. Right there, we got a 1942. I think it's going to be the copper nickel, not the silver. And it is. We got a 1942. Copper nickel, first year for the silver. Let's go. Roll number seven. Box number one. We got a 1954. First 54 gonna be out of Philadelphia let's see where we're at we got 53 right there 57 54 roll number 11 box number one we're gonna have our first 1946 and we got a Philadelphia let's go roll 13 box number one we got a 1953 this is our second one if I can get a hold of it uh, out of Philadelphia. 53. Well, let's keep going. Same roll. Just a few away. 
we're gonna have a 1940 out of San Francisco that is our first 1940 roll 16 box number one we're gonna have a 1956 just two away from the end out of Denver let's move these down set that one there roll 18 we are gonna have two in a row we've got a 1940 and a 1942 Oh, that's a 49. So we've got a 1942 and a 1949. The 42 is out of Philadelphia. It is not a silver. And we got a 1949. It's our first 49 of the hunt. Out of Philadelphia. Let's go. Roll 21. Box number one. We're going to have a 1941. Out of Philadelphia. That is our first... 1941 we'll stick it next to the 42s roll 26 box one we got another 1949 Philadelphia roll 30 box one we're gonna have another 1954 and we got a 54 out of Denver it's our second one roll 31 box one we're gonna have another 1958 and that's a Denver as well. Roll 34. Box number one. We're going to have another 1953. Philadelphia. Roll 36. Box number one. We've got another 1949. Philadelphia. Roll 39. Box one. You guys can see it. We got a 1995, and that is 100% a proof San Francisco Mint. Definitely got some cameo to it. 1995, trashy, but we got a proof. Roll 40, box one, just before the end. We're going to have a 1951. That is our first 1951 of the hunt. And we've got a San Francisco. That is a semi-key date right there. Very, very low mintage on that one. And that one actually might upgrade the book. We'll have to check that one out. That is definitely a better date, better mint. 1951 San Francisco. Let's Roll go. 41, box number one. Check this out. We've got a new 2023... Just not any 2023. You can see the line in between the eyes right there. I'm going to flip this over, throw it on the scope, and look what we got. We've got a die clash. This is the 2023 Jefferson die clash on the reverse under the building just like we find on the 2018s. I believe this might be the first one found. That is a really really cool die clash let's see if it's on states it is not we don't have a line going through states so it's something different maybe I haven't seen all of it yet there's another line right there there is a big die chip right there on the side of the building let's get up here see if we find anything there's another it's like a I like that's a die clash right there not the one down below but the one in the middle right there that you can see that's a die clash really cool piece right there it's the first 2023 that I have found with a uh, die clash on it alright so we got a Jefferson die clash 2023 let's go same roll just a couple away we're gonna have another 1946 and this one is a San Francisco that's our second 46 roll 45 we're gonna have a 1952 that's our let's see our second 1952 this one is out of Denver all right that is the end of box number one number 67 of the hunt not too bad we found a few we definitely need to find a few more we're gonna go ahead and jump into box uh, let me grab it box number two 
right here, number 68 of the series. And y'all, I'll bring you back if and when we find anything in these rolls at all. They look pretty good. Let's do it. Roll number six, box two. This is our first find in box number two. It is a 1940 Philadelphia. Roll nine, box two. We're gonna have another 1940. This one, a Philadelphia as well. Roll 10. We're going to have another find. We got a 1958. Out of Denver. Roll number 12. Box number 2, number 68 of the series. We might have a key date. And when I say key date, I mean 1950. Could we have the 1950 Denver? Man, this one is in good condition too. Decent, decent condition. Is this a Denver minted 1950? It is not. We got a 1950 out of Philadelphia. Still a harder date. Let's keep going. Roll 14, box number two. You guys, this is insane. Never have I ever found this many. And you guys can see it right there. I have never found this many ever. I own four total. And that is just in the last few weeks. We're going to have, oh my goodness, an 1897. That one's in rough condition. 1897 V-Nickel. I'm shaking right now. Man, that thing has a hole in it. Oh, man. 1897 V-Nickel. I mean, I am. I got my hand sitting on the, <laughs> on the thing because I'm shaking so much right now. That is insane. Somebody tried to put a hole through an 1897. That is the fifth V-Nickel that I own now. Let's keep going. Roll 18. Box number two. We're going to have a 1954. Out of Philadelphia. And we got a 1939 right behind it. So let's set this 54 right up there. We got a second year 1939. Do we have an S or a D? We do not. We got a 1939. Out of Philadelphia. Roll 19. We might have our first worn nickel of this hunt. There's actually two in here that are darker color. We've got one right there where my thumb is and another one right there. So let's go ahead and pop these open. This one is an 83. And I don't think we're going to have worn nickel. And we do. There you go. San Francisco, 1943. Set that one next to the 42. We have one more dark one in here. Let's take a look. It is not. Let's keep going. Roll 20. We're going to have another one. 1958. That one's beat up. And it's a Denver as well. Roll 21. We're going to have... 1946. And this 46 is a Philadelphia. Let's see what this one is. 63. Let's go. Roll 23. We're going to have another 1946. And another Philadelphia. Same roll, just a couple away from the end. We're going to have another 1954. Oh, that one out of San Francisco. Roll 29. Box 2. We're going to have another 1941. Ooh, that one's out of San Francisco. Well, let's keep going. Roll 34. Box 2. We might have another war nickel. I didn't see it by the edge. But it's definitely a darker color right there. 
Could this be another war nickel? It looks like it from that angle. I don't know. It could be. It could not be. And it is. We got a first year. This is the split year. Um, you got copper manganese and silver. And then you got the copper nickel. This one is... Actually, I'll show you right here. So here's a 1942. This one is copper nickel. And as you can see, there is no big mint mark above the uh, Monticello. There's a big mint mark above that one. So this is copper, manganese, and silver. That is just copper nickel. So there we go. We found a copper, or, uh, copper manganese, and silver. 35%, 1942. Let's keep going. Roll 35, box two. We're going to have two finds. We got a 1948. It's our first 1948. And we got a Philadelphia. Move the 46 down. Put it right there. Then we've got a 1941. All scratched up, beat up. Out of San Francisco. It's a 41 right there. That's number three. Let's keep going. Roll 43. Box two. We could have our third war nickel of this hunt right there. It's got the color to it. So let's check it out. Get this spread open. And we do. We got a 1945. Our third war nickel of the hunt. 1945 out of Philadelphia. We're just going to sit that one right there on top of the 43. Let's keep going. Actually, let's check this one right here. That is not. And that is not. 76. Roll 44. Box 2. We're going to have two finds back to back. We got a 1949, or 41 right there. Philadelphia. And then we've got a 1949 right behind it. Same thing out of Philadelphia. Let's keep going. 56. Box two. We're going to have another one. It is right there. 1946. And that is a 46 out of Philly. Same roll, just a couple away. I didn't even see it. We're going to have a 41. Right there. 41, Philly. Roll 48. Box. Two. We got another 1946. And this one is a Denver. 1946 out of Denver. And that is the end of this Hunt and Fill series. Boxes number 67 and 68 of the series. The only thing we're missing is a 1938S. We did not find it. <laughs> so we might have an upgrade, but that is it. Uh, let's just go ahead and show you what we found. We have a lot to go over on this one. Uh, we got one... 59 Denver. We got a bunch of 58 Denvers. Uh, 57 Denver. 56 Denver. We got 54s, but we got Philly, Denver, and San Francisco. We got Philly and Denver 1953s. 1952s, we got a Philly, a Denver. And then we got a San Francisco Minid 1951. And we got a semi key date. 1950 out of Philadelphia and that one actually might might upgrade the book we'll have to take a look at that there's the 1950 Denver here's this one right here I don't know if that one is going to upgrade or not I mean that one's got a big scratch all the way across it so we might just put that one in there this one actually looks really nice a lot better looking than that one. That one's got a big scratch to it. So let's just go ahead and put that one in there. So we will upgrade the 1950. Come over here. We got a couple of 1949s out of Philly. One 48 out of Philly. We got a bunch of 46s out of Philly. One out of Denver. And one out of San Francisco. Now we got a war nickel. We got a 1945. 35% out of Philadelphia. We jump to the next one. We got a 1943 out of San Francisco. And then we got War Nickel right here. So this is the transition year. 1942, you had the Copper Nickel, which is over here. 
And then you had the copper, manganese, and silver on this one right here. And you could tell the difference by the big mint mark above the Monticello building as to this one right here. Nothing up above that one. So you can see the difference in those right there. One with the mint mark, one without. So that is the difference in the war nickels. How you can tell the war nickels. That in the uh, bluish color from the manganese and silver mixture. So there you go. 1942, we got one war nickel, one copper nickel. Come over here, we got some 41s out of Philadelphia, a couple out of San Francisco. Same with the 1940s, a couple out of Philadelphia, one out of San Francisco. And then we got a 1939 out of Philadelphia. All right, let's show you these over here. We got a couple Canadians. We got one proof. That is the 1995 San Francisco proof. And then we've got a die clash under the Monticello, like the 2018s. But this is not a 2018. This is a 2023, brand new, hot off the press. So you can see under the Monticello, and I will drop this under the scope for you. So we'll bring it over here, drop it under the scope, and check this out. That is the eyeball of Jefferson right there. Same thing we get on the 2018s, just on the brand new 2023. So there you go. That one I might send in. The next one, we've got a penny. And then we've got a 1963 Denver that is definitely going to upgrade on our book. So bring this over here. We just changed this the other day. Actually, I think it was a 61. So we got the 63. This one is definitely going to upgrade the book. So we'll set that one right there. Two upgrades on this. And y'all, to top it off, we found one more. V nickel, look at that. And somebody tried to drill a hole or it just ate a hole through it. But this is an 1897. Check that out. 1897 V nickel. That is the fourth one that we have found. Third one this year, fourth one ever. And there it is right there. That is it, everybody. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I keep bringing you hunts. Just like this one right here. We need the 38S. We haven't got it. We got a couple upgrades and a war, uh, V nickel and a couple of war nickels. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time.